Picture this. It's the height of the Cold War, a time when every achievement in space carried monumental significance. The world watched in awe as the United States and the Soviet Union pushed the boundaries of human ingenuity. But what if some of the most extraordinary achievements weren't public at all? What if, hidden beneath a veil of secrecy, the Soviet Union achieved something that defies everything we thought we knew about space exploration? A secret landing on Mars. While NASA's Viking missions are often celebrated as humanity's first successful Mars landings, whispers of Soviet ambitions and alleged covert missions have persisted for decades. Imagine if the red planet itself, with all its mysteries, was silently touched by Soviet ingenuity, and no one on Earth ever knew. In this video, we delve into the shadowy corners of space history, exploring the tantalizing theories, ambitious plans, and astonishing technology that could have made a secret Soviet Mars landing possible. This is a story of ambition, secrecy, and the relentless human drive to conquer the unknown. So, buckle up as we journey back in time to uncover what may be one of space exploration's most enigmatic chapters. The space race wasn't just about reaching for the stars, it was a battle of ideologies. In one corner stood the United States, with its promises of freedom and capitalism, and in the other, the Soviet Union, determined to prove the supremacy of communism. Every milestone achieved by either side carried immense geopolitical weight, influencing not just science but the global perception of power. The Soviets had an incredible track record. They stunned the world with Sputnik, the first artificial satellite, and followed it with historic feats. Yuri Gagarin, the first human in space, and Alexei Leonov, who made the first spacewalk. But what the public saw was only the tip of the iceberg. Behind the scenes, the Soviet space program was a hive of activity driven by a relentless desire to outpace the United States. While America focused its efforts on landing astronauts on the moon, the Soviets were exploring other horizons. Mars, the mysterious red planet, represented the ultimate challenge. It wasn't just about science. It was a chance to claim an unparalleled victory in the space race. And in true Soviet fashion, much of their work on Mars exploration was cloaked in secrecy. The Soviet Union's fascination with Mars began early. By the 1960s, they launched the Marsnik series, aiming to send probes to the Red Planet. Unfortunately, these missions faced repeated setbacks. Rockets exploded during launch, and spacecraft lost contact en route. To the outside world, it seemed like Mars was beyond reach. But then came the breakthrough, Mars 3. Launched in 1971, it was the first spacecraft to achieve a soft landing on Mars. For a brief 14.5 seconds, Mars 3 transmitted data back to Earth before falling silent. While this was a remarkable achievement, the short-lived success left many questions unanswered. Or did it? Some argue that Mars 3 was just the beginning. Unverified reports suggest that other missions may have followed, shrouded in secrecy and classified by the Soviet government. Could these covert missions have achieved what Mars 3 could not? Did the Soviets quietly land another probe on Mars and, for reasons known only to them, keep it hidden from the world? Now, let's dive into the theories that suggest the Soviets may have achieved a secret Mars landing. One particularly intriguing rumor centers around a mission allegedly launched in the mid-1960s. This mission, sometimes referred to as Project Alita, was reportedly designed to send a robotic lander to Mars, decades ahead of its time. The idea of Project Alita might seem far-fetched, but it's not entirely implausible. The Soviet Union had a history of conducting space missions in secrecy, especially when failure was a possibility. 
Some theorists point to declassified documents that hint at advanced spacecraft designs and ambitious plans for Mars exploration, including rovers and sample return missions. Adding fuel to the fire are accounts from former engineers and officials within the Soviet space program. While these accounts lack definitive proof, they suggest that Mars was a top priority, one that warranted extraordinary measures to ensure success or conceal failure. Could it be that one of these hidden missions actually reached the Red Planet? If the Soviets did attempt a secret Mars landing, how would they have done it? The answer lies in their remarkable technological capabilities. The Soviet engineers of the era were nothing short of brilliant. They developed the Luno Code rovers, which successfully explored the moon's surface, and the Venera probes, which landed on Venus and transmitted data from its hellish surface. These achievements demonstrate the Soviets' ability to design spacecraft capable of surviving extreme conditions. For Mars, they would have likely built on the success of the Proton rocket, which was powerful enough to send heavy payloads to the Red Planet. The lander itself might have been an evolution of the Mars 3 design, featuring improved communication systems, robust landing mechanisms, and perhaps even early robotic exploration tools. If such a mission existed, it would have been a testament to the ingenuity and ambition of Soviet scientists. But why was it never revealed? Was it a failure? Or did it succeed in ways that we have yet to uncover? In a time when every space achievement was a propaganda tool, secrecy might seem counterintuitive. But for the Soviets, revealing a partially successful or failed mission was a risk they couldn't afford. Maintaining the illusion of infallibility was critical, both to bolster national pride and to deter their Cold War adversaries. Imagine the stakes. A failed Mars mission could undermine the Soviet Union's image as a technological powerhouse. On the other hand, a successful mission might expose sensitive technologies to rival nations. Keeping the mission classified would ensure that any strategic advantage remained firmly in Soviet hands. The secrecy surrounding these missions isn't unique to the USSR. Even today, Space agencies operate under a veil of caution when developing new technologies. But in the context of the Cold War, this secrecy becomes a fertile ground for speculation and mystery. So, did the Soviet Union secretly land on Mars? The truth remains elusive. While there's no definitive proof, the very possibility captures the imagination. It reminds us of a time when humanity's reach for the stars was driven not just by curiosity, but by the fierce rivalries of the Cold War. Whether or not the Soviets achieved this monumental feat, their Mars missions laid the groundwork for modern interplanetary exploration. They dreamed big, pushing the limits of technology and inspiring future generations to continue exploring the Red Planet. As we look toward the future of Mars exploration, it's worth pondering the mysteries of the past. What secrets might still lie hidden in the archives of history? And what lessons can we learn from those who dared to dream of Mars before us? What do you think? Could there be an untold chapter of Mars exploration waiting to be discovered? Share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and join us for more fascinating stories from the cosmos. Until next time, keep dreaming big. The universe is full of secrets waiting to be uncovered.